In our Spotlight on Business report, medical debt can cause a ripple effect of financial hardships for families and individuals, impacting credit scores when debt collectors come calling. While Governor Murphy signed a law to protect New Jerseyans from that vicious cycle called the Louisa Carmen Medical Debt Relief Act, the law was named after the champion of the bill, one of Murphy's former staffers who tragically died in a car accident this year at the age of 25. Ted Goldberg takes a look at the law and the changes it'll make. I wish that I never had to think about this. I was 26 years old. I was in the best shape of my life. I was, you know, financially in the best shape of my life, actually. And then I started dying and so did my, <laughs> my financial health. Amanda Slazier fought and survived despite a dire diagnosis in 2018. My lymph nodes were kind of closing in on my vocal cords. And so I couldn't speak um, above a whisper for a long time at the time that she ran the blood work that Friday. Uh, my white blood count was at 116. It's supposed to be between five and 10. Slazier says a slew of symptoms sent her to various doctors. My gums started bleeding um, and they wouldn't stop. But it kind of looked like really inflamed pimples, but they weren't. And she had one misdiagnosis after another. She took one look at me and said, oh, you're single, you're a girl in New York, you have mono. The doctor that I had been seeing at the time told me that I must have gotten a rock in my ear. I had doctors telling me that I was hysterical. Slazier eventually found a doctor who didn't think she was hysterical and testing confirmed she had chronic lymphocytic leukemia and small lymphocytic lymphoma, cancers that generally affect older Caucasian men. Despite having health insurance through her job and through COBRA, Slazier had to pay $14,000 for the first year of treatment. So she needed a little help. A lot of my family, a lot of my friends, a lot of coworkers, people that, you know, I, I ran into um, that shared my story. I, I was very fortunate. My dad hosted charity, um, you know, fundraisers and, and things like that. I, I sold some of my furniture. I sold some of the things that I owned. The Murphy administration hopes to cut down on cases like Slazier's which led him to sign into law the Louisa Carmen Medical Debt Relief Act yesterday. No patient receives a bill while they are still recovering in their hospital bed. It will also keep medical bills out of collections for longer, so families have more time to seek financial assistance or even appeal a charge. And this law will also ensure that medical debt cannot be re reported to credit agencies Debt collection companies argued the bill would create unintended consequences and possibly make more barriers in health care. Governor Murphy also, argued that this bill was sorely needed for the one in nine New Jerseyans currently dealing with medical debt. It will protect generations of New Jerseyans from falling into medical debt and facing the risk of financial ruin. Because I had been hounded by debt collectors so often, every other call then and, and even now, are debt collectors and, and because of that I felt pressured to do whatever it takes to pay them. Slazier is pleased to see efforts to help people in her situation, though she would have liked to see this bill signed years ago to help her. But I can't go and change the past now and I am just glad that anyone else who has to deal with it in the future doesn't, doesn't have to force their way through these roadblocks. There's also a separate initiative in the Murphy administration to use $10 million in state funds to wipe out medical debt for people in New Jersey. That could be a big help for people like Slazier, still paying off their health care years after their recovery. In Somerville, I'm Ted Goldberg, NJ Spotlight News.